welcome to the channel where we create stuff. In this video we're looking at how to measure how parallel the hot end is compared to the build plate and why that is important to you. Welcome back. <sighs> Early morning, need coffee. Um, so anyway, so I was having some issues with uh, warping on some big ABS prints and uh, you know the, the smaller ones that printed in the middle of my bed they were printing just fine uh, but whatever I was printing bigger ones and they, they were getting closer to the edges of my, my print bed you know uh, they started warping and lifting more and more uh, and when I was doing the bed leveling in, in the corners of my print bed it was fine I mean they all, all corners pretty much came out the same uh, so it looked like the bed was just uh, sitting pretty good um, but, but I wasn't getting the big parts to stick properly on the bed uh, and I was having to do more and more with uh, uh, printing bigger and bigger rafts so uh, I decided to, to print a, a carriage for a, a, a dial indicator uh, so I would be able to measure properly how my print bed is in relation to my uh, hot end is it really parallel or, or is it off on, on some spots if you are not subscribed, get on board and don't miss content as it comes out. Uh, the dial indicator now sits on the uh, rods like my hot end and I can move it around like, uh, like the bed, uh, just like, like when I'm printing. Um, if, if you're not printing on a brand new $3,000 machine, you know, it, it, this can be a real eye-opener. It, it turned out my uh, x-axis was really really good I mean there was maybe 0 0.05 millimeters difference from the highs to the lows but uh, on the uh, y-axis that's where it got really interesting this is where I'm testing the uh, the build platform uh, on the y-axis and I'm starting in the center and I have my dial set up for, for zero and as I uh, as I slide out towards the edges it uh, moves uh, 0 0.3 millimeters down and as I go in towards the middle again it goes back up to zero but it does the same thing when I go to the other side so basically my build platform is a big old U and the, the, the further I get away from the center it, it gets just worse and worse uh, and, and 0 0.3 is, is I mean I if I print uh, if I print uh, yeah, fast quality and not I'm not worried about how it looks you know I'll print 0 0.3 I pretty much never go 0 0.4 uh, so at 0 0.3 if you're squeezing it really tight in the center you're basically not hitting the bed out on the the edges of the platform so the the bigger the build the worse the quality uh, so that was a real eye-opener for me on my printer the uh, one how duplicator 4 I was able to take the the platform out I mean it's only a four millimeter uh, aluminum sheet and uh, I was able to straighten it out and put it back in uh, and I was kind of thinking about putting a 6 mil in there uh, for more stability but it takes a long time to, to reach 100 degrees when I'm printing ABS so uh, I left the 4 mil in there uh, I'm thinking I'll, I'll make a 6 mil and have it laying around and then I'll install it whenever whenever I uh, I get a warp print bed again if, if I get one um, this is what the uh, the print bed looks like after repair and, and I reinstalled it so now it's pretty much within 0 0.1 millimeter across the whole thing which is awesome and makes a, a huge difference on, on bigger prints. Now if, if you have a printer that you can't take apart and repair the bed I mean you're still better off knowing where the high and the low spots are on the printer. And now you know to avoid the avoid the low spots when you're using ABS. I mean, you can you can rotate your print or move your print so it's in the the spots where the edges are not in, in a low spot. And uh, if you cannot avoid it, uh, then then use a raft. Use uh, a raft that's at least two times the thickness of the the difference between the high and the low. Then you can squeeze it in the in the high point, and then you can. Um, you can still get bed adhesion in, in the low spots and, and the prints will come out uh, way better. The, the, the drawback of course is that the, the time consumption is, is way bigger when you got to do a raft on, on uh, every print. 
especially if you have to do a couple of layers, um, but uh, especially on the base. But it's worth it. I mean, there's there's nothing nothing worse than coming back to a seven hour print and then it's uh, bent up like a banana, you know. So I mean, even and even if you're satisfied with with your prints, you know, uh, look at the dial indicator option anyways. I mean, it'll give you uh, a great idea of of what your printer is capable of when when you're attempting the big prints. For the small stuff in the middle, you know, any any printer will do. So uh, that, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. Uh, you know, thumbs up, subscribe, whatever you want to do. It's it's great. Comment too if if you like. Uh, I love to read some comments. Uh, but uh, thanks a lot for watching and and take care.